ponies and kids. A match made in heaven, and even more so when these cute animals can bring some relief to children and teenagers being treated for cancer. Five-year-old Samuel Pratt has spent most last year hospitalized, treating leukemia. The children get very frustrated staying in the hospital. When this happens of bringing an animal, for them to see they get really happy. My son Samuel loved that he could ride the horse. He's feeling great now, as if he had no pain at all. The ponies are brought once a month to the University of São Paulo's Institute for the Treatment of Childhood Cancer, Itasi, for a pony therapy session with the kids hospitalized here. The patients are encouraged to pet, feed, comb and ride ponies. The partnership began with one patient's wish to learn more about horses. One of his doctors had friends at São Paulo's Equestrian Society, and a few connections later, the first patient's encounter inspired the creation of this program, benefiting many more children and teenagers. Oncologist Patricia Consorti was that doctor, and 10-year-old Brian Amaro, the patient. He was hospitalized for 10 months to treat a prostate cancer, which is still fighting, but now mostly from home. The patients, when they stay a lot of time in hospitals, they don't want to do the proposed therapy anymore, like physiotherapy, nutrition. And when we take them off that the stressful time and take them outside with nature, with animals, and when they come back to the hospital, uh, they start to participate with the things that we propose. They start doing the physiotherapy, they start talking to their friends and their families. 14-year-old Graziele Cristini has osteosarcoma, a type of bone cancer. She's been hospitalized here for treatment since April this year. It was an amazing sensation. I didn't know what it felt like riding a horse. This is very good because it's a heavy routine to be all the time in the hospital with chemotherapy medicines. So just being able to leave the bedroom for a little is already great. Modern medicine can have tools to treat and hopefully cure these children and teenagers. But helping them reconnect to life can perhaps make the tough struggle against disease a little more bearable. Paulo Cabral, CGTN, São Paulo.